This video is brought to you in part by our patrons. Thank you. Today's topic is remaking of 2001 A Space Odyssey's Moonbus. Help support videos like this one and others by becoming our patron at patreon.com forward slash astronex. In the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey, a short-ranged hopper called a moon bus was used to travel around the moon. This beloved bus is long and narrow, and while omnidirectional, it was obviously designed with a preferred direction of travel, which is acceptable but not ideal. There are no roads on Luna. Taking into consideration its low gravity and fine dust, Traveling around the moon is indeed best suited to flying, so a flying omnidirectional bus is a great idea. Low gravity and, of course, the lack of an atmosphere allows for more flexibility, versatility. Analyzing Arthur C. Clarke's design with today's and possible tomorrow's technologies, We've put together a reasonable design of our own for an improved omnidirectional bus. This discoid or vaguely hemispherical shape provides a 360 degree view whilst making better use of the floor space than a long and narrow design could ever as this shape contains greater volume for less material, which of course translates into less mass. Our design incorporates two decks, one above where the two pilots sit and one below for all the passengers. Two doors on either side assures passengers are able to enter and exit the craft easily. If the vehicle tilts to one side, the engines on that side become more vertical, thus producing a greater upward force than the opposing engines, which are now even more angled than before forcing the bus to automatically level out. The three engines would be sufficient, but six provide a safety margin of redundancy. Four engines would not be as stable if the vehicle tilts towards a given engine and then rebounds, having another engine exactly opposite would lead to a back and forth rocking motion between the two opposing engines. With three engines, back and forth rocking would quickly be dampened, of course, as no engine is directly opposite the other. Given the airless environment, six permanently extended landing legs would be fitted as there is no need for relatively heavy retractable landing gear. And furthermore, taking the extremely fine lunar dust into account, retractable landing gear would require constant maintenance and service not to mention the fact that retractable landing gear would be more failure prone. Six or more radially directed engines would allow for omnidirectional travel. A similar design with or without retracting landing gear could also be used for flights around Mars. Even on Earth, with the development of electro and magnetohydrodynamic atmospheric propulsion, a somewhat similar discoid or lenticular lens-shaped vehicles may become commonplace, even possibly the norm. Now, we all know that one day we will indeed master and easily control gravity artificially. This is not an opinion, but a fact. And when that day arrives, perhaps sooner than you are aware, Early devices will most likely be configured as circular grav coils. The discoid or faceted discoidal shape is best suited for the use of these coils. So what do you think? Give us your thoughts and inputs in the comment section below or head over to Twitter and let us know there or both. Don't forget to subscribe and, if you can, support us on Patreon. Remember to check the community tab on our YouTube channel page in order to stay up to date on the latest activities, upcoming videos, amongst other general information. Until next time, 
keep wondering about space. Thank you.